Hello folks, and welcome to my Torrent Dinosaur uh, online walkthrough. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'm Master P, and uh, this is the second um, set of uh, walkthrough uh, videos I'm going to be doing, um, because very recently, as I'm sure you lovely people know, I, re I, re I, re I finished my um, Mario Kart 64 playthrough um, list today, um, so... Now that I've got some space on my iPad, I can start recording videos for my top dinosaur hunt to walk through. So yeah, this game came out on, was one of the first games to come out um, on the N64 back in 1996. And this is a game that I still, you know, I, I, you know, I look back on, you know, with very fond memories. It was one of the first games I got with my, you know, with my uh, N64. So, hold on a second. Well, this is just a, this is just a, uh, Demo, so we're gonna get skipped through all that and let's get stuck in normal skill. I have completed this game so many freaking times on all the modes, by the way, on like you know, both like easy, normal, and hard. Uh, I have recently, I have um, you know, uh, downloaded you know, re downloaded this for Steam, uh, but the Steam version, the PC version that I have got is they haven't really changed that much, you know, for, uh, between that and the uh, and the N64 version. I mean, the only thing they've done is they've sharpened up the graphics, and and that's it. That's not, you know, they, they, they've just sharpened up the graphics, and that's all they've done really. So, if like I've said in my uh, one of my other videos, if you have um, got this game, uh, I suggest to have a you know, good little uh, look at the uh, yeah, at this uh, walkthrough anyway, uh, because you will get like a lot of tips and hints about how to how to um, you know uh, you know, complete the game. So anyway, this uh, level here is called Outset. Oh, I'll put some clips down there, but no, obviously they're not. Um, yeah, this is called uh, the Outset level. Oh, they are called it. Oh no, the clips are over here. Ah, right. So, and basically, what your objective is uh, on this particular level is just to locate the hub ruins uh, because that's where you are going to get. Uh, find all the, all the gateways to all the other levels, but you do you can't over go through them every, just yet. You have to collect like keys to uh, open them. So this is a key up here. Completed that dude. So this is a key up here. This is a level two key. Now on this particular level, on on, on the first level, there are going to be um, yeah. There's five keys left to find. So you've got all all three of the level two keys. And all three of the level three keys will just shut down there. But we'll get into that later, folks. So anyway. Now the only problem the issues that I you know I, 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 now personally, this is a game that I look back on, you know, I, I mean with uh, very fond memories, but the only thing the only issues that I have with this game is that the graphics can be a bit you know, a bit too fog like and the fact that, you know, in my opinion, you know, the enemies could have been a little more varied. Right, so that's called that guy's called a puncher. And we're gonna come across our first dinosaur. It's a raptor, like in Jurassic Park mode. Um, but I'm not gonna spoil too much about what you can fight later. Dun, 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 dun. Bang, bang, bang. You can't really do headshots and sniping on this game. But with the weapons on this game, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna use cheats and you know show you all the all the different types of weapons now. This is not a you know, let's play, this is a proper walkthrough. Uh, so I'm not gonna do that, you know, just I'm not I'm not gonna do that at all really. So if you're looking for like uh, like cheat modes or anything like that. I'm not going to use cheats on here. Right, get out of here. And this this music. I'm going to turn this music up actually, because this is just like music that I really really want to get in, you can really get into. So I'm going to right. Let's go back down here. Let's do this little that canyon bit. This, now this now this section here doesn't um is not in the Steam version. But in the studio, it has like the, yeah, the square area where it's all been completely redesigned. I mean, it's probably like an easier layout or something. So with this bit here, folks, don't take it overly literally. Get out of here! Now, around this section here is a secret wall. You can jump up to that. Just jump up there, and there's a side of dude. What you do is you run past him like so. You can move very rapidly in this game, and you get the auto shotgun, which he is guarding. And you can just eat much easily. Uh, Defeat him because the amount of times like you when I was like a little kid when I first played this I couldn't get past him I was just just you know, just still trying to take him out with a pistol and it was a bit of a pain in the backside really right let's just get rid of all these dudes now up here is the shotgun uh, the regular like you know pump action shotgun I don't even know I still do not even know why they put like two different you know two different shotguns in this game it was always a bit like I don't know a bit pointless really. 
Men kan alltså vänja dig. Det här blir det nya Novo Novo eller... Men det spårar ju varje poäng här för att det är Novo Pump Action Shock och så här för att det är en better automatic version. Det är just det. I mean, if you want to, you can comment below and just say Oh yeah, actually I really like you make gun, yada yada yada. You can start like a debate with me if you really want. Anyway. Anyway. Onwards and upwards with the game. Now what I'm going to be trying to be doing is that I still don't know exactly when uh, the videos are going to cut out and stuff. Oh, hang on. Oh, there's a warp portal. So let's go for the warp portal. Now these warp zones, they will just come up. Oh, there's the shotgun there. So I don't need to, you know, go back to those little ruined areas from earlier. So now these warp uh, portal um, uh, sections, they can just crop up at any time. They're not like with Turok 2. Those of you who have played Turok 2, you know, will remember that... Uh, you have to activate the warp portals, and the warp portals are pretty stationary uh, in the uh, in the game. But with the with Torok Dinosaur Hunter, it's you know, it's very different. What happens is, is that yeah, they'll just come up out of random. Oh shit! They will just come up out of random. Sorry, I just did a pause the commentary there just to snipe that guy. Now with this bow and arrow, it's called a, well. Just did you see when the uh, the arrowhead? Uh, you know, just, it just twinkled a little bit. That means that you can uh, you can nail uh, most well most enemies. I say that you know the, the, you know, the human slash humanoid enemies in one hit. You can do it like that. So anyway, let's just jump across here. Yeah, I, I pretty much know this game like you know pretty much like the back of my hand. I love the soundtrack on it. I love the gameplay on it. Although it's not as good as Gold Knight, uh, I will have to admit. Uh, all right, you know all. Uh, Turok 2 or Perfect Dark or any such like. In my opinion, those three games that I've just said, they are like the yeah, they are they are the best shooting games on the N64. I'm just keeping on, on the on the time folks. Yeah, just keeping on the time. Just to make sure that the camera is not gonna just go cut out uh, while I am doing commentary because otherwise that would look a bit silly. Mind you, from my uh, Mario Kart 64 walkthrough. One of the, of the videos that I did do recorded for about 11 minutes, which I was really surprised about. Oh, by the way, uh, for those of you who missed it earlier, if you don't go for the warp portal, you can go and grab the shotgun, you know, on, up, at, right up this top ledge here. You can just jump and grab it. There are some shells here. There's a pig, just ignore that. And here, so if you want it, that they, they are there. The option's there for you folks. Right, shoot the raptor. Flipping Jurassic Park, you know, sort of eat your heart out. Do you ever know seen the Jurassic Park where um, Bob Peck's character, uh, Robert Muldoon, is, uh, how, well, he's trying to shoot the raptors, but one of the raptors gets a drop on him. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking right now, this guy could have, um, he could have taken care of all the problems of Jurassic Park, no problem at all. Could be Dennis Nedre, eh? Right. Right, we're going to jump across here. Now, there's a lot of jumping and swimming that you've, and, and, you know, and climbing that you've got to do in this game. And there's also these checkpoints as well. Right, and what I'm going to do is we're going to try and get to a safe point, then we're going to stop recording. Right. Now, this, this guy here, oh crap. It's called a Perlin, and he's basically 